Okay, here we are on the uh, lovely practice ground at Trump International. Beautiful short game area, lots and lots of different things to do. And this is a really good time to chat about this, a, a drill that can fit this rather well. I guess it's colloquially known as like one from six. And the trick is that you take six, get as many golf balls as you can, but put six balls in as many different lines as you possibly can and pick six clubs from your bag. I've used three wedges, so I've got all three wedges. I've got 48, 53, 58. I've got my uh, seven iron, five iron, and actually I have five wood as well. You don't want to put two clubs that are consecutive. You can't get six and seven, there must be gaps. And the idea is that you play, even if it looks crazy, each one of those clubs with a ball from every lie you can, figure out which one from those six you like or works very well in the conditions. So I'll quickly hit these for you, starting with the 48. So I'm having to think as well now about where I want to land it, how it's going to react, so forth, so forth. So I have to pitch that a little short. Okay, happy with that. 54. I need a different landing area, and I'm hitting them for all on the same lies. So I've got to have a different thought about where I want to bounce this. Try, trying to use a very similar technique. Pitch it a little further up there. As it turns out, unless this five would work very well, as it turns out, the 48 or the 54 happen to be pretty good. That's a crazy one. Oh, it's a pity. I think that was going to go long anyway. But you know, work with these clubs as many as you can, different lies, and you'll figure out, you know, when you get in a situation on the course, you pretty much know what club you're likely to get the best result with, and your scores are going to get better. So the shot you're most likely to be confronted with and require on this type of golf is the chip and run. Greens are firm, slopey, bouncy, you know, it's not like you're going to get lots of height and spin on the ball, the, the greens are just not going to react that way. Two things about short game though, number one is you need to be comfortable with your technique, it needs to be repetitive, confident and it needs to work well, it needs to function well. So there's a couple of things. Balance wise, you don't need too, too much of a wide stance because you're not moving very fast. In actual fact, your upper body and lower body work very much at the same pace. Typically, we'd like the hands to keep quite close to you. And remember this, this is a simple function. What you do going this way, how much movement you've got, how far the hands go, how much wrist action you've got, you're kind of undoing that and mirroring that in the follow through. If you do that and keep nice and level, it's going to be much easier to develop the contact with the bottom of the club to the ground that you're requiring in the right place. So I'm happy with that. We've picked an eight iron, about a 30 yard shot. I need to chip it two or three yards on the green, a little bit left because it's a bit slopey up there and it's a bit slow actually into that slope. Uh, I got the pace right, not the direction. It's actually kicked a bit left off the front. I'll give it just one more. Nice strike there, so I'm happy with that. I'm halfway there. Just need to keep my focus on the landing area. Uh, not too, too bad. Yeah, not, not unhappy. So keep things simple, keep things repetitive, and your score's going to get better. So I've missed another green and I've got a uh, difficult shot in this way, I've got trap in the way, can't putt it, it's a very tight line and it's a delicate shot. So it's not quite like I'm going to hit it really hard off the fairway, take a baby divot because I can do that. So what do we want to do? Well we still want to make a committed, kind of an aggressive downward strike on the ball, you know there's, my arms are forcing down as I'm going to turn through. So. If that's the case and I lean the shaft a little bit or increase that shaft lean to strike down on it, how am I going to not jam the club in? How am I, without the speed, how am I going to bruise the turf and still strike the ball off the tight line? And the critical thing is what this guy does, what this forward, the lead shoulder does. It's important that whilst I'm swinging down and turning through, that this guy works up and behind me and what that does is it gives the stroke or the arc a little bit of a almost a flat spot so i'm going to regular setup normal setup normal takeaway just like the chip and run shot but i'm going to drive my arms down and the club down but make sure my left shoulder is moving up and back and that should help flatten this off there we go that was quite a nice contact off that line quite happy with that trust the technique normal takeaway keep the body moving 
drive your arms down underneath you, keep the left shoulder working up and back and behind you. Uh, not unhappy with both those contacts. Nice spin on the ball off the lie. Reasonable control, a chance to up and down it.